Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, my name is Brenda, or also known as Cozyaholic, and for today's video, we're going to be doing an early fall night routine, which I'm so excited to get into. I know you guys love these videos, so we're going to get right into it. We are going to be starting off by lighting a candle and setting the mood, of course, because candles are everything. If you want to relax, then you want to be in that state of mind, and I feel like candles really add to that. So for today, I actually decided that I was only going to be washing my body. Um, I typically only wash my hair once a week, so for today, we're only doing a body wash. And then I went ahead and picked out some very comfy clothing for the night. As you guys know, I'm pregnant, so not much fits me, but anything that I can do right now is just some fuzzy sweaters or cardigans. That's pretty much what I live in right now. Um, but then afterwards, I am not going to be brushing my teeth just yet because I am going to head downstairs to relax and do some cleaning and stuff. So for now, I just added some moisturizer to my face and then I also went ahead and added some oil um, to my hair that I usually add just to make sure that my hair isn't dry and brittle and stuff So just to kind of give it a little bit more life And I'm gonna head to the kitchen And actually the kitchen is quite clean. I cleaned yesterday, so there's not much to do here, but I did want to wipe down the counters because I am going to be making some very delicious cinnamon chips. So I went ahead and used my Fall Mayer's um, multi-purpose spray and spray down all the counters and wipe them down just to make sure that everything's clean and not dusty. And then, of course, to set the mood downstairs now, I went ahead and turned on my candle that I have down there. And to start off my night, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some chai tea latte instead of coffee. But no worries, I'm gonna be making coffee later tonight when I'm ready to sit down and relax. But for now, that I'm moving around and stuff, I am gonna be using this Tazo Classic Chai Latte that I picked up at Target. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside because like I mentioned, we're gonna be making some cinnamon chips and I will have the recipe linked for you guys down in the description if you are interested in making these. At first, I was a little iffy about this because it's flour tortillas, which is like a little weird, but guys, these taste amazing. So I 100% recommend doing these. And of course, you don't have to use a cookie cutter, but I did want to because they were pumpkin shaped. So um, totally optional. You don't have to do that. But this is what I went with. So the recipe is actually pretty easy. So you just have to pretty much rub melted butter onto all the tortillas on both sides and once you're done doing that you're going to actually make a cinnamon slash sugar mixture and you're going to pour that all over the top press it in make sure it's good in there and you just throw in the oven for like 10 to 12 minutes and that's about it and they taste so freaking good you'll see at the end what they look like but totally recommend like can't recommend it enough i thought it was the weirdest thing because it was tortilla but seriously guys i i'm telling you this is really freaking good. So I went ahead and preheated the oven to 350 and while I waited, I was just scrolling on my phone. Once that was ready, I went ahead and put those in the oven for 12 minutes exactly and that was like the perfect 
temperature and timing for all of it. It came out super crispy and really good. And while those were baking, my husband Mika actually went and picked up some fast food for us. I really didn't feel like cooking tonight, so this was our option for today. It was takeout, and it was it was alright. It was meh. Um, he picked up calamari from a non-seafood place, which <laughs> I don't know why he would do that, but he did. It was it was alright. It wasn't the best food, but um, definitely got full from everything that he brought. And then once we were done eating, it's exactly when um, my chips got done. So I went over, pulled those out, and let them cool down for a little bit. And look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. It looks so freaking delicious. And once they cool down, I went ahead and transferred them over to this really cute wooden board that I got from Ikea. And now I'm going to go ahead and move this over to the living room. Mika's going to head upstairs and play some video games while I relax and watch some TV. And of course, we weren't going to forget, we need to make some coffee now that we are done, we're full, we're relaxed. So of course, I started with a very festive mug. I really love my Halloween mugs and even though it's not really fall themed, it still kind of falls within that. Um, I love Halloween, so <laughs> definitely had to do this mug. And um, this time around, I actually added brown sugar to my coffee, which really made a difference, and I think it tasted pretty amazing. Can't really tell a difference from normal sugar, so I went ahead and did that. And then, of course, if you know me, I love adding creamer, so I went ahead and did that. And then followed by some very very freaking delicious whipped cream because we have to it is a must for any coffee so i add a whipped cream and then finally topped it off with some halloween festive sprinkles and then i went over sat down on the couch i relaxed played Monster House, kind of was in the mood to watch that movie. It's been a long time since I've watched it, and I pretty much kind of switched between my phone, editing videos, and watching the movie, and that's pretty much the end to my night. I definitely want to relax as much as I can at the end of my pregnancy and enjoy this alone time that I have, so that's pretty much all I did. Nothing crazy, but super relaxing, and I really hope that kind of set you guys into the mood. Um, and yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.